What do you do in this modern world when some young upstart winds you up? A clip around the ear? Well, you'd like to, but if you're sensible you'd walk away and take a deep breath. If only Jason Watkins' apparently mild-mannered Simon Henderson had done that in coma, CH5, Monday to Thursday. But rather out of character, we assume, he thumped this young wastrel who had said Simon was a pedo. The punch killed the lad, but Henderson then brought him back to life, though still in a coma. In the mold of films like Falling Down, in which middle-aged men have meltdowns to pass the time, coma made me feel as though I was Simon Henderson. In this respect, the drama was doing a service to the middle-aged men of Britain. Equally, how many of us thought 1, he's a squirt of a lad, why are you even bothering with him, 2, Henderson doesn't look like he could throw a decent punch. Little did we know, Jason Watkins, known for many superb performances, immediately convinced as the desperate, batty Mr. Henderson. In plot terms, please continue to deny everything but maybe not turn off the life support system. That would be murder. There was also a fine performance by Jonas Armstrong as a local gangster, who also happened to work in security. He was the victim's father. What a piece of bad luck that was for Simon. Bamford was also at odds with his grumpy next-door neighbor, David Bradley, who was also intent on getting his own back, on his own grumpy next-door neighbor. That's Simon. Can someone please explain to me what is happening in Beyond Paradise, BBC One, Fry. Starring Chris Marshall, Humphrey, and fiancé Sally Breton, Martha, this one-time cozy murder mystery format was meant to eschew nasty killings for lesser offenses like stealing a poor old chap's bicycle pump. And millions tuned in. Bring on season two and suddenly someone's wielding a long-bladed knife on a pretty steam train chugging through Devon's green and pleasant land. To me, a 12-inch blade doesn't shout cozy. It says, run like hell.